for the final time this season through the KRC Power Steering Start Zone. Connor Hall will lead the field down. The green flag is out, and the autos by Nelson. Dot com 250 by Bojangles is underway. Lap number one to Connor Hall, but Lenny, Bobby McCarty is about to make it a three-point gap if he leads this one. Well, he sure got around Hall quickly, and they made contact on the very first corner of the first lap. And uh, I don't think McCarty appreciated that. He wanted to get out there in front and keep that Whoa. in the nest. Yarborough in the 95, scooting away from the, the 26 machine. That this time. is 15th, 16th, and 17th, Lenny. And most importantly, right in front of Caden Honeycutt. Yes. Caden Honeycutt really hasn't come through uh, many positions yet at this point. And then the four car is Honeycutt. Not able to get around. Oh, big problem. Back straight away. Right in front and right around of Caden Honeycutt. Connor Mosak and Joe Valento. That's one bullet dodge for Caden Honeycutt. Bobby McCarty is the control car. He'll lead the field off into turn number one. And Connor Hall just got schooled on how to do a Cars Tour restart. <laughs> well, Connor wants to be here with the Tour, and part of that is uh, learning how really good Bobby McCarty is. Bobby McCarty is the control car. He'll lead the field off into turn number one. And Connor Hall just got schooled on how to do a Cars Tour restart. <laughs> Well, Connor wants to be here with the tour, and part of that is uh, learning how really good Bobby McCarty is. Hey, I love that sound. Those cars go by there. I love that sound. And look at this. Fight for third. Mini Terrell, the 81 up top, the 08. Deke McCaskill, the black car on the bottom. Mason Diaz there in the middle of that one. And Mr. Dislocated Shoulder Lane Riggs. Apparently, it's feeling good. Oh, the yeah. leans on him. Yeah, big problem. Turn number two in the wall. Brandon Pierce. We saw it in the corner of the frame. He, too, a little sideways, it looked like. And massive impact for Brandon Pierce. And Bobby McCarty will lead him through the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone. Once again, the Autos by Nelson 250 is back green. I think Connor Hall, once uh, he learned from McCarty, he also learned that if you're looking at McCarty too long, Deke McCaskill going to get you. Yeah, Deke's there. He's now clear Mini Terrell for the third spot. Remember, they were battling side by side. we got problems again. Turn number four. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a bunch of them. And awesome. Lane Riggs in that. No, that's actually 95 of... Uh, oh, it's Sam Yarborough. Yeah. Okay. Very similarly painted yeah. cars from that other angle. One more time. Bobby McCarty gets the jump to the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone. And look behind him, a hungry pack, including Deke McCaskill, trying to make the outside work here as we get towards lap number 30. McCaskill, as Paul goes up to block. I bet that didn't make Deke real happy as uh, Connor faded to the outside and took the top lane away from Deke McCaskill. McCaskill will you know, kind of note that for uh, when he needs to make the pass. Oh, three wide, no, <laughs> back out, Mason. How did they not just wad him up? Hill and Tyrell. Well, Tyrell looks like he might, whoa, a little contact there, more contact in turn number one. I think Looney's starting to get a little impatient back there, maybe trying to get around these two. Yeah, I think Looney touching Hill, then Hill into Tyrell. That was uh, good driving by everybody to not wreck. Yeah, Jared Freitman, see, still, we talk about these tires wearing out and how they're starting to slide around. Whoa, Fryer into and around. Now in turn number two, look at Lane Riggs oh. and Caden Honeycutt. Another one avoided by Caden Honeycutt. Lights out on the pace car, the pace car pulling off. Once again, Connor Hall and the 22, Bobby McCarty. Hall slipped. Oh, I saw tire smoke back there. Did somebody miss a shift, potentially? As McCarty gets the lead, and look at this, they're still swapping paint behind him for third on back. Tyrell is bringing Silvestri along with him, so that's a, that's a pretty good little pair there. Trying to work their way up through the field. Diaz claims the spot. It's with Mason Diaz up to fourth now by Deke McCaskill. Diaz trying to head to the front. Finish this year on a strong note. I don't think he's where he wants to be right now. And I think he's starting to see that championship slip away.
Yeah, it's um, going to be tough from here. Oh, big problems, turn three. Huge issues up in flame was one car that may have been Connor Mosack. Holy cow, we've got him wadded up with the Mosack's out of the car. Mosack's out of the car. So Mosack out. I see, I think that's Minnie Terrell on the outside wall with him. Wow. Carter at, Langley was in it. Joe Valento was in it. Yowzers. And look at all that fluid coming out. And you could see Connor. That was a hit. Oh, then it swings way down. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. With all that flame for Mosack. He had, he had impacted somewhere else. It okay. almost looked like Joe Valento. We'll have to back that up to the frame almost. It almost looked like Connor Mosack and Joe Valento made the original contact. And when the time our cameras caught it, they were already in the inside wall. Back that yeah. up, production. Back that up. Right there. Yeah, right there. And you see, watch. You see the skid marks back there in the back straightaway? Yeah. Those two came together somehow. And then poor Minnie Terrell. And look at Taylor Gray. Nowhere to go. Maybe sliding in fluid. Maybe just out of control trying to get out of the spot. But, man, Connor Mosack, what a hit. Same for Joe Valento. Bobby McCarty leads. Connor Hall. Oh, McCarty, a small slip up, but he'll continue with the advantage off of turn number two. And here we go with 53 laps, separating us from a race winner and a champion. But that's where the first fight is. Contact. Lane Riggs. Mike Looney. Around goes Riggs in turn number two. Did not contact the wall, but didn't help the hood there. Oh, he has broken the track bar, Lenny. Yeah. You see the, the rear wheel moving. Got that one too, but there you can see the full contact. Looney got loose, came up into Lane Riggs, and unfortunately, that's how it turns out. Yep, there you see it right there as we get ready to come to green. Tires for all kinds of reasons. 52 laps to go now. Bobby McCarty leads the field yet again to turn number one. And here comes Jonathan Schaefer on the outside. Oh, Schaefer might be here to make a statement tonight, Lenny. He tries to rim ride into the third and try maybe for the second spot. Whoa, oh, Looney. Looney into the inside wall. That's hard contact. Bowser's. So for what feels like the 375th time tonight, Bobby McCarty, we've seen this story before, rockets to the lead again off turn two. Going to give him some lessons here tonight as Diaz goes to the inside again of Connor Hall. Man, these guys are getting after it here as we close in on 40 laps to go. See the brake rotor starting to glow again on Connor Hall's car. Looks like maybe he a uh, little too tight, trying to use the brakes to turn it. And Caden Honeycutt, you see him on the screen. Looks like the championship bid is going to come up about 11 to 12 points short. Yet the car just never had that zip in it tonight. Never Coming into South Boston. Oh, problems! Back straight away. Craig Moore has found the inside wall. And with approximately 17 laps to go, this is a brand new race. Yes, it is. Let's find out how this unfolds. Through the KRC power steering restart zone, Mason Diaz just got schooled by Bobby McCarty. And the battle is on for second off turn two. Yeah, McCarty had all the momentum going in the Whoa, way. Johnson Hart the inside wall in turn number three. Man, that was unfortunate. Looked like cold tires in contact out of turn number two through the KRC power steering restart zone. What a restart. Mason Diaz, the best one we've seen by the second place car all night. And look at this. He's going to race and get into Bobby McCarty. Contact the top two in turn three. Wow, Silvestri right behind him. Diaz on the quarter panel of McCarty. McCarty holds on. McCarty's got the lead clean right now. Can he hold it? 
Oh, that was a moment for Bobby McCarty. You know he saw championship flash before his eyes. We've seen minor contact turn to big things tonight. That nearly was catastrophic for Bobby McCarty. And Silvestri on the high side. Diaz riding him way up. Looked like he was headed up towards West Virginia on that one. They cannot continue to do this for 12 more laps. No. Something has caught to give. Silvestri taking the spot. Now his car is fast, so he's going to pull away from Diaz. Now Connor Hall has to pick up the fight to get around Diaz. Connor Hall, he doesn't need the brakes if he's leaning on Diaz like that. Man, they are leaning all over each other. They nearly wanted him up again in turn four. Hey, Jonathan Schaefer is still there to try to take the next spot. He's around Diaz a, a bit. Now he's around him enough. And now going after Connor Hall. This, this is amazing stuff from these right drivers. They have this a faster is... car. And look at this, Caden Honeycutt trying to go around McCaskill. Maybe too little, too late. That would be for the seventh spot. But yes, too little, too late. In fact, losing a spot to McCaskill is Caden Honeycutt. So he's back to eighth. Jared Fryer trying to take a spot. Now put him back to ninth. Oh, just in front of contact. Carter Langley, Mason Diaz. We might not be done yet. No, there could still be a caution. There's debris dangling there from the five. I mean, that's a whole quarter panel. If that comes off, we've got to go caution, you would think. It's got to hang on for about 45 more seconds, Lenny. Off of turn number four, Bobby McCarty has been a flawless race. He'll see Brandon Willard's white flag. The water, yellow line sees his left side tires set upon them. And down the back stretch, Bobby McCarty will negotiate the final two turns. And Bobby McCarty will be a three time Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour champion by winning here in the Autos by Nelson 250 at South Boston. Here he is, South Boston. Bobby McCarty, winner of the Autos by Nelson 250 and a three-time Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour champion. <laughs> Minnie Terrell comes in. They're going to get the traditional group prayer. All my guys get in here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this night, Lord. We give you the glory, and Lord, thank you for the opportunity to even do this, Lord. Bless everybody here, get them home safely, and Lord Jesus Christ, we give you the glory. Amen. Amen. So, congratulations, certainly abounding down here. We got to find ourselves a way in. When you and I, so it gets forth from the team, Bobby. When you and I talked yesterday. You had a look in your eye that's very similar to what you have right now. When did you know how good this race car was and what it could do here tonight? Uh, when we unloaded today, we made a really long run yesterday and uh, went right out to Holler and run a teen. And I just kind of knew then, you know, we had about 50 laps on our tires. Everybody else had like five. And uh, to be honest, I, I didn't know it was this good. I mean, this thing was phenomenal. Uh, I got to thank everybody at Autos by Nelson, Solid Rock Carriers. Uh, RNS race cars, uh, Castro, um, my family, everybody. Um, I want to celebrate this win, you know, in this championship. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow we got, you know, go put my grandma to rest and, um, you know, winning, don't fix it, but, you know, I definitely want to dedicate this to my grandma and um, we miss her. Uh, she, she didn't deserve to go the way she went, but um, again, man, I just, all these guys standing right here, man, they, uh, <laughs> They make me look like I'm special, you know, and I'm just your normal guy that works on cars for a living. Um, but I can't thank all of them enough and standing behind me and, and giving me this hot ride. This thing was, was nasty bad. It, it was unreal. Final restart with Mason Diaz, the best restart we saw all night from somebody behind or beside of you. How concerned were you about that restart and the contact that you experienced when you went off in the corner? Oh, you know, anytime somebody runs into your left rear, you get concerned. You know, these, these tires don't take much to pop a hole in them. Um, and I, I'm not sure where everybody's head was at tonight, but we ain't never had that many cautions in one race. I mean, that was, that was ridiculous. But, um, you know, like I said, I'm just thankful to Tony for keeping me calm and, and keeping me focused on what I needed to do. And um, you know, we, we pulled it off. You certainly did. Bobby McCarty, enjoy it. Where's the party tonight? Somewhere that way. Just follow the noise and the middle lights. It's over there. 
Bob. And caught up with Caden Honeycutt coming home that one position short in the championship. Overall, it looked like you just had a handful of a car there throughout the race. What was kind of the missing link tonight? Well, uh, I don't really know. We just kind of struggled as a camp tonight. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate circumstance. Uh, I really think the tire bit us really hard. Um, this hasn't been very good on stiff tires this year. And, you know, whenever we had to run them, uh, obviously we didn't have to do it the entire year. But, um, and just flat out missing the night. Just, uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, as, as much as I love racing Bobby this year, I had so much fun. I've learned so much this year. Uh, this as a rookie and championship contender, I'm just, I'm so thankful for all my guys. Jason, that works his tail off every single day on this car. Um, just Chase, uh, Josh, whole crew, uh, Greg Harper in Montana, I know you were watching. Uh, thanks for watching, buddy. Um, all my sponsors, Per Year, GXS Raps, BST Shocks, um, Rod Wortham at Race Face, uh, Friends of Jacqueline, just uh, scam a little bit short. Just uh, whoever they got next year, I hope nothing but the best, and uh, hopefully we'll make a couple starts next year. And when you teamed up with Justin Johnson and, of course, Jason Stanley, like you said, this kind of being a rookie venture was a championship chase even on your guys' radar. You know, uh, it's funny. It's We actually signed up to do that. Um, he wanted to create a driver development team, and I think uh, he's got it. So uh, I'm very happy for him that it's going to take off for him next year. He's got some plans in place. I'm excited for him. Just uh, took a chance upon me just to be able to drip well his race cars. And, you know, we just had a great year. Just, uh, just kind of a little short. But, yeah, we signed up in January to run for a championship, and we are doing that tonight. Just, uh, just kind of come back a little bit better whenever they have. Lenny and Tony, he definitely turned heads this season in the Cars Tour. Caden Honeycutt in his rookie venture here comes home one spot short in the championship.